Ann from Ann Wilmus Photography and today I am going to show you how to easily fix the background of a photo in Photoshop. Um, specifically the photo that I'm going to show you is a newborn photo. Um, I have the habit of cutting off this upper left hand corner when I shoot babies um, full body length um, and I'm sure most other people do that too. There's also a couple other issues on this backdrop. Um, there's a little dark mark over here, which I'm assuming was probably a stain. You can see some kind of lines in the fabric right here. And also this baby peed. So we have the big pee spot here. And we have one of my beanbag clips here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you can see that I'm in Photoshop Creative Cloud um, 2019. I don't tend to update my stuff um, normally. It is 2022 when I'm recording this, late 2022, um, but everything that I'm showing you will still work the same. Okay, so first I'm gonna bring up my actions panel and uh, for the purposes of this recording, I have already edited the baby herself. I just wanna show you what to do on the background here. Um, okay, so we have the background layer and then just a new layer, which I liquefied her head a little bit there to make it a little bit rounder. You could just see it was like just a little bit there. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten that before I get started. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. Um, that's Command J for me on my Mac. <clears throat> if you're not sure of where to go to duplicate your layer, um, just look up in the the um, top part of your screen and if you go to layer then you can drop down and go new and then um, layer from background or just layer I think would be the same or actually layer via copy command J is exactly what I just did there so that's the one you would want to pick okay and then I'm going to take the eyedropper tool which is this one over here on the left and I'm just going to put it sorry I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see better um, use it right. I'm going to pick a color either right behind baby and I'm looking at the swatch over here to see if I like the color it's picking up. I want it to be pretty pink um, even if it's not exactly the same shade because you can see here is closer to my light. It was lighter here um, and over here on the shadow side it's darker but I just want to pick a pretty shade that's kind of in between that so I like that shade so I picked that color and now I'm going to pick K for my paint bucket which is down here so if you don't have the shortcuts, um, then you can just push that button. And then I'm gonna paint bucket the whole thing pink. Okay, so that's a new layer. And I don't know what that thing is there, ignore that. Um, but we're, cause we're gonna reduce that all the way down to about 25, give or take. Um, and then we're going to get um, a mask. So let me bring this up into the screen here so you can see it down here this is the mask button it's white right now um, which is fine we're gonna get a big black brush so B to select my brush and then it's white on top here I want it to be black so I'm just gonna hit the X and that'll switch it to black for me I'm gonna put my brush at a hundred percent opacity so I changed it here just by hitting the zero on my keyboard and then I'm going to brush that off of baby Okay, and that just gives us a good starting point to kind of already blend the colors together. Now, what I show you next, you may find this, you don't have to do this part, um, but I like to. All right, so I'm hitting the backslash key on my keyboard, which is covering her in red. And what that is showing me is that I have brushed it all off of her completely without missing any spots, um, which is really important because you don't want to get through editing the whole picture and then realize oops I left a little bit of you know the pink layer on the baby skin so we're good to go now all right so that's before and that's after so it already started to blend a little bit here um, on the P spot and that little dark spot is almost gone away so I'm gonna flatten that and then I'm gonna take my eyedropper tool again so that is this one here and I'm going to select the color that's close to the area that we need to fill in. I'm going to hit my B for brush again. Also put it at 100% opacity and paint that in 
where I shot off the background and over the um, clip. All right, so that looks pretty good already. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that to 20% opacity by hitting the two on my keyboard and you can see it changed up here. And we're just gonna click around where she peed here and you can just see it blending in very nicely. And although it's a little bit darker here, that's fine because that's a shadow anyway and it's supposed to be darker there. Um, so that already looks really good to me. And we can do one more time, select a color close to here, this other tiny little dark area. I'm gonna do the eyedropper tool one more time and get the color here. And just again at 20% opacity with my brush tool, click right over that. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten that all. That already looks really good to me. But something that I noticed when I print my pictures is what I think looks good on the screen, sometimes you see little banding circles um, in the shadow areas once it's printed. So what I mean by that is like, you'll see like the change from like a color gradient of pink here and then slightly out again and then slightly out again. And it just, it's, uh, it's not meant to be in the image and sometimes you don't see it on screen, but you see it in print. So there's a way to take care of that. First, what I wanna do is crop the image so the baby is how I want her to be. So I'm just hitting the C for crop and I keep everything in the original ratio that I shot at, which was two to three. Um, and I'm gonna bring it just to in there. So she looks nice and centered. I still want her trending towards the bottom half. Um, so you can see there's about that much room from the top of her head to the top of the image, but only a little bit of room from the bottom of her body to the bottom of the image. Um, and that's the way I like it. You don't want a baby to look like they're floating in the middle of the screen. Okay, now here's the big secret that's gonna save you so much time and give you peace of mind that you're not gonna get those weird banding um, lines in your image once you go to print it. It's an action and it's something I bought and this is not at all sponsored or paid for. This is just something I think everybody should know about. Um, it's called Background Fix Zero Banding and I clicked on it and I'm gonna go back and show you what it, where I got it from and exactly what it does. Um, takes a little bit to run, especially since I'm recording this bit video. Okay, so it ran the whole thing and it gave me a white layer mask, um, which it shows on the whole entire image. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell much, but this is the before and this is the after. So what it did, even more than what I, I had already done, was it blended in the areas of the background. So you can see kind of right here by her head, that little dark spot, it takes that away. Um, and then down here as well, it blends that and it adds a little bit of noise so that it takes away any lines you would see here in the shadow side while you print. Now what I do next though is I like to just double check. I'm gonna zoom in and show you. It does sometimes give you a harsh line like right here. Um, so we wanna zoom in and then brush that off a little bit here in these areas so it just blends better. Um, Cause it does a great job but it's not totally perfect for that. I will say though that the maker of this action has updated it since I saved it. Um, and they do email you the new versions all the time. I just haven't um, downloaded the new versions yet. So this is just how I still do it. So I reduce the whole layer to 70% opacity. And then I take my brush at 100. I'm on black now here because the layer mask is white. So the white reveals, black conceals, um, if that helps you at all. And I just wanna go around in the areas just so it blends the harsh edges here. And I'm just, see so all I'm doing is just clicking and brushing off the layer mask just in those areas so it blends better. So that was before I blended it and then that's after. Okay, so let me put that all together. And that's it, that looks great to me. She, the backdrop is fully blended. Um, you're not gonna see any banding lines in the print image. It's nice and smooth and 
that can be saved and done. Now, before I go, let me show you where that action came from. It's from um, hellolittleprops.com collections slash action. So if you just Google hello little, it'll come up. I'll also put that in the um, description for this video. And then the one that you want is called the source resource. So it is a bit expensive. So make sure you definitely want it before you buy it. Um, but along with this video, they also have their own tutorials on how to use it if you go look on the left hand side of the screen here. All right, so I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If there's something that you want to see in the future, leave a comment on that as well. Um, so thank you for listening and I will talk to you guys again in a future video. Bye-bye.